I'd like to begin this honoring the founder of the Summits of Global Nobel Peace Laureates, President Mikhail Gorbachev, who sent a letter to us. In the letter he said, I'm very glad that you've met again in this forum. I was one of the founders of this project and it is very dear to me. It enables you and representatives of laureate organizations to continue efforts to affirm the principles and values of peace in politics and in the minds of people. I'll pause for a minute. Uh, yesterday evening, the president of Mexico spoke to us at a dinner, and I want to thank the president and the governor of the Yucatan for so generously hosting us and giving a platform for this very important message that you're going to hear and how appropriate it is for Mexico to host us on this subject because it was Mexico and the ambassador Alfonso Garcia Robles who was so instrumental in creating a nuclear weapons free zone in Latin America and the Caribbean who was so instru which, which was so instrumental in creating six nuclear weapons free zones on the planet Earth making the southern hemisphere virtually nuclear weapons free and possibly possibly leading leading in helping to free the northern hemisphere from the slavery of these weapons and I will continue with President Gorbachev's admonition to us as to how we must go forward in doing that. President Gorbachev said, I believe that priority attention should now be given to the problem of nuclear weapons. What is happening now is extremely dangerous. Treaties are collapsing, new kinds of weapons are being created, and plans for using them are being drawn up. Politicians seem to have forgotten that nuclear war is unacceptable. The obligations that nuclear powers assumed under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty to reduce and ultimately eliminate nuclear weapons have been relegated to oblivion. We must not put up with that. I suggest that the Nobel Peace Prize laureates adopt a statement calling upon all leaders of nuclear weapons powers to reaffirm without delay the proposition that a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. This principle contained in the joint statement that U.S. President Ronald Reagan and I issued in Geneva in 1985 set in motion a process that has resulted in the destruction of thousands of nuclear weapons. Yet, what still remains today is enough to destroy human civilization. Therefore, the world leader's responsibility to mankind and to every human being requires that they reaffirm the inadmissibility of nuclear war and return to the negotiating table to agree on reducing and eliminating nuclear arsenals. Let us state it and let us work for it.